Vulnerability assessment versus penetration testing. What's the difference? Security professionals are often familiar with vulnerability assessment and penetration testing. Yet, these two terms often leave people confused. Here are the differences between vulnerability assessment and penetration testing. Penetration testing and vulnerability assessments are both required by the Payment Card Industry Data Security Standard, PCI DSS, and are also mandatory under several other information security regulations. In other words, they're both crucial for cybercrime prevention since vulnerability scanning cannot compensate for penetration testing and penetration testing on its own is unable to secure the entire network. So both are important at their respective levels and are two top requirements in cyber risk analysis. But there is often a lot of confusion when it comes to the differences between the two services from their objectives and processes to various other factors. Before we dive deeper into the differences, let's first understand both the terms one by one. Vulnerability assessment. Also known as vulnerability scans, vulnerability assessments assess computers, networks, and systems for security weaknesses, which are also called vulnerabilities. Hence the name vulnerability assessment. You'll inevitably have a range of such weaknesses in your system, mainly due to the fact that firewalls are designed to leave certain ports open for email and other cyber services, and also because of frequent changes made to your applications, which also explains the need for regular vulnerability assessments. The main function served by VA is identifying potential vulnerabilities and threats in network devices such as routers, switches, firewalls, servers, and applications. To put it simply, this kind of scan looks for known vulnerabilities in your system and reports potential exposures, but it only identifies them and doesn't exploit the vulnerabilities. Typically automated, vulnerability scans provide a beginning look at what could possibly be exploited, so it's safe to say that they're unable to go beyond reporting on vulnerabilities that are detected. This explains why VA is a passive approach to vulnerability management and, in order to ensure the scanning of the most important vulnerabilities, PCI-approved scanning vendors are often preferred to conduct a vulnerability assessment. VAs can run on a scheduled basis or be instigated manually, while the duration of their completion can hugely vary from several minutes to several hours. Besides using automated vulnerability scanners, the process can also include a range of manual testing with additional tools to further evaluate the security of apps and networks, and to verify the threats discovered. Now that we've understood the basic concept behind vulnerability assessments, let's take a step further and talk about the actual process. As mentioned before, VA points out but does not exploit the flaws within your network. However, its role extends beyond just identifying vulnerabilities. Once the tool has spotted them, the same tool ranks or categorizes the vulnerabilities found within your network or applications. They're either classified into risk groups, namely high, medium, and low, or are assigned a vulnerability score so that the threat with the highest potential risk can be dealt with first. In other words, this classification makes it easy for the security professionals to prioritize the identified vulnerabilities and decide on which will need rectification first. A vulnerability scanning tool can also recommend different strategies to the security team regarding how to remediate the discovered threats, such as configuration changes, patch management, and hardening security infrastructure. To summarize, the vulnerability assessment process involves four basic steps. First, the vulnerability scanner completes an automated discovery of the entire system, which includes searching and identifying different threats across the network, applications, and basically the whole infrastructure. Next, it categorizes the vulnerabilities by risk and priority before it finally offers directions to the IT security professional who can then remediate these vulnerabilities. A properly scoped VA can reveal a lot about an environment, including unapplied patches, vulnerable software versions, gaps in network controls like firewalls and common weaknesses in applications. So it's safe to say that it has a number of benefits. A vulnerability scan isn't just quick to complete and affordable, but also automatic, since it can be automated to run weekly, monthly, and quarterly. That said, even a high-level vulnerability scan comes with certain limitations. For starters, it does not confirm that a vulnerability is exploitable, and there's no way to exclude false positives either. A false positive occurs when VA identifies a threat which isn't real, so it's crucial to sift through the vulnerabilities and ensure that they're real. It's definitely a bit time-consuming for businesses to manually check each vulnerability to avoid a false positive. Now that we've thoroughly discussed vulnerability assessment, let's talk about penetration testing. 
Penetration Testing A penetration test, also known as a pen test, is much more comprehensive than VA and attempts to exploit a system's weaknesses instead of identifying them. It's also much more rigorous than vulnerability scanning since it's basically a controlled form of hacking. Penetration testing not only exploits the threats within the architecture of your IT network, but also determines the degree to which a hacker can gain unauthorized access to your assets, including sensitive and valuable data. The analyst or tester, known as an ethical hacker, works on behalf of an organization, searches for vulnerabilities in its system, and then tries to prove that they can be exploited. The methods used to imitate those preferred by criminal hackers, such as password cracking, SQL injection, and buffer overflow. So basically, during a pen test, an ethical hacker attempts to compromise and extract data from an IT network without causing any damage, and therefore demonstrates to an organization exactly how a cyber criminal would infiltrate its systems. In turn, the organization is able to analyze how effective its IT security controls are and which areas need improvement. Unlike a VA, which is typically automated, a pen test is manually, extremely detailed and is performed by a security professional. It also differs from a vulnerability assessment in the sense that it can cover social engineering and physical tests, meaning that a pen test can also function as an exploit detector for an organization's physical security, its employees, as well as vendors. The penetration testing process has six basic steps, namely open source intelligence gathering, scanning and discovery, vulnerability identification, attack or exploitation phase, risk analysis, and remediation recommendations, and finally, reporting. When we talk about the benefits of penetration testing, there's quite a long list. For starters, these live manual tests ensure more accurate and thorough results while ruling out false positives at the same time. Not to mention the fact that retesting after remediation is often included. How are they different? Before we dive into technical terms, here's a simple analogy. A vulnerability assessment is like walking up to a door, checking whether it's locked and stopping there, or walking away. A penetration test, on the other hand, goes a bit further. It not only checks to see if the door is unlocked, but also opens the door and walks inside. There are a number of factors which can be used to differentiate between a pen test and VA, including frequency, reports, and value. Firstly, a vulnerability scan focuses on identifying weaknesses in an IT network that can be exploited, whereas penetration testing exploits these threats. Vulnerability assessments makes a directory of assets and resources in a given system while allocating quantifiable value and significance to the available resources. It also offers a comprehensive analysis and review of the target system and its environment. A pen test, on the other hand, tests sensitive data collection, gathers targeted information, inspects the system, and also cleans it up before giving a final report. Further, VA is often performed at least quarterly, while a pen test is usually conducted once or twice a year or whenever the internet-facing equipment undergoes significant changes. In most cases, vulnerability scanning does not require a high skill level, whereas penetration testing requires a great deal of skill. Lastly, VA is considered ideal for non-critical systems and lab environments, while penetration testing is meant for critical real-time systems, physical environments, and network architecture. Which option is better, vulnerability assessment or penetration testing? Both techniques have their own functionality and approach, so it mostly relies on the system's security position. Based on the facts mentioned before, it's obvious that VA is more helpful for organizations that lack a sturdy security posture or need a starting point to measure and rank the threats within their environment. Penetration testing is much more comprehensive and robust, so it can be more beneficial for organizations looking for disaster recovery planning or enhancing their business continuity. At times, pen tests can be an annual requirement for meeting compliance and cybersecurity regulations, whereas vulnerability scanning can be conducted for more frequent touch points of your environment. But keeping an organization's own needs and preferences aside, penetration testing is often given preference, and rightfully so. VA can't replace a pen test, but pen tests can include vulnerability assessments. Additionally, penetration testing can provide a more accurate, thorough, and detailed report. Its benefits can be best illustrated by using an analogy from the medical world. While both X-ray and MRI are used for the diagnosis of an injury or illness outside the body, an X-ray machine produces an image that isn't as clear or detailed as the one produced during an MRI. That is similar to the difference between a simple vulnerability scan and a detailed penetration test. 
Sure, penetration testing is expensive, but you're paying for a professional to deeply examine your network security and protect your business from a real world hacker. All in all, pen testing is a much more excellent way to ensure continued security, especially when you update your systems and software over time. Despite their differences, vulnerability assessment and penetration testing work best when they're used together. Thanks to their combined benefits, they're becoming increasingly popular not just among large IT organizations, but also smaller businesses.